Hello! So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to get Mac OS 9.2.2 onto a iMac G3. So, at this current time, this iMac G3 has a uh, Tiger, I believe. Alright, so now as you can see, the Mac is running um, Mac OS X 10.4, and it this is the... Um, 450 DV plus um, summer 2000 uh, model, so it's got 320 meg uh, of RAM. So now what I've done when I installed, I just picked up this computer recently. Um, so what I did when I installed on Mac OS 10.4 is I just got the disk, put it in, made two partitions. One's called Mac OS X and the other one's called Mac OS 9 because this, this computer has a 20 gig hard drive. So now what you're going to want to do is I'm going to come over to my Mac. And I need to type in my password. One moment. Okay. So, now what you're going to want to do is I will give you the website link. But this is basically it. It's the Mac OS 9.2.2 Universal um, Edition. So it's from 2002. Um, and you're going to want to download this one so it's about 400 meg so then now once you've got that downloaded what you're going to want to do is one moment quit this now you're going to want to grab you're going to open the folder which well first of all it's a zip file which you will need to make into just a you just click it like double click it and it'll open into a normal folder and then you'll find the iso so what you want to do is then insert a blank CD, like, well, not like that, because that is a CD, but like so, but I've already got it on it, just into your external drive, or even internal drive, and then you'll want to hit burn disk image of that. Now, once you've got that done, do it at the slowest speed possible, literally. Wait, so if I go to burn disk, it probably won't work, but do, um... 10 times do it as slow as you possibly can so that it will definitely install correctly and these old machines may not be able to handle it so just trust me on that just do it that way so now we're gonna get this disk and we're gonna stick it into the computer and if you've just picked up this computer and don't know if it's had anything in it or this is just a fresh install and the hard drive doesn't have anything on it um, what you're gonna want to do when you turn it on press and hold down um, the left click button on your mouse so that um, it will force eject any disk that's inside the computer. Um, better safe than sorry. Don't want to be trying to jam in a disk in if it's got a disk in. So what you're going to want to do right now, now this is a CD. Now you want to make sure that you're, uh, when you burn it, you're going to be burning it to a CD um, or minus, not a plus. Um, that does make a difference and look at that rainbow. Okay, um, anyway, so just basically stick it into the drive. Okay, yeah, doesn't need any encouragement. So I was gonna show you how to boot it in from here, but I'm actually gonna show you how to do it from when the computer's off, just in case this doesn't actually have a version on it when you've picked one of these up. So what you're gonna wanna do is, well, I'm gonna select restart, but it doesn't really matter. So now that you've got this, now what you're gonna wanna do is press and hold on Alt on one of these keyboards, if you've got a Windows one, or if you've got a Mac one, press Option. All right, so just wait until you hear the bonging, and turn it right back on. Okay, press Alt, sorry. Hold on Alt. Just keep holding on it until you'll see a screen up here, which is this one. You can let go of Alt now. Set down the keyboard. Now you see the disc up here? You're gonna wait until this watch looking thing disappears. All right. Um, now, like I was saying before, this, this uh, Mac OS 9.2.2 is universal, so it should directly work with any uh, G3 or G4 machine. Uh, well, not necessarily all G4s, just Emacs, and, but it should work with iMac G3s, PowerBook G3s, um, PowerMac G3s, and so on. So now that you can see this thing has stopped spinning and it's a physical mess, you can go ahead and click on the arrow, because it's selected. As you can see, it looks indented. All right, so now um, just wait, the screen should go purple or not even, it's just gonna do the smiley face and it should say Mac OS 9.2 and do a loading thing and uh, yeah, I'll get you back after that.
Okay, so it's not finished booting up yet, it's still loading, but as you can see, it's starting to load everything up. Okay, um, so uh, if you look, you've got this right here, alright, and basically the background says CD, which is a nice touch. So what you're going to want to do is Mac OS install, but if you're like me, and you want to look at all this stuff from the 90s, you'll hit before you install, and it should open up a nice thing and explain the... Yeah, the, 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 the turn off file sharing, yeah, it doesn't matter, there's nothing really on the computer. Okay, so, then you'll go Mac OS install, you'll double click that, alright? So now you're gonna wait until this finishes loading. Okay, here we go. Select destination disk, so you're gonna press continue. Alright, so now this is just loaded, so before this goes, I just want to show you my computer, so picked this thing up for pretty cheap, good deal, they had three of them, I was tempted to buy them all, but waste of money. There we go, well not a waste of money, it's actually a really good, really good way to spend money, but I don't have any money to spend on them. Okay, anyways, so basically it says destination disk right here, and it's glitched, oh my god, okay, wait, so it says Mac OS X and Mac OS 9, now obviously you're not going to do Mac OS X, you're going to do Mac OS 9 if you did the same thing I did. So you're going to press select, all right, so click select, blah, 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 it doesn't really matter, da, 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 da. continue, yeah, English, That that's great, continue, yeah, I agree, I read all this before, obviously, you know, <laughs> okay, so then you're going to press start, and uh, yeah, it's going to, it's just going to start trucking, yeah, it says 18 minutes, so, uh, yeah, just let it let it sit. Don't try to do anything else. All right. So as you can see, this is finally finished. So press quit to leave this program. Uh, don't know if we need to install other software. So let's do this. Let's hit. Uh, no, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. Okay. So this is done now. So if I close this. Um, let me, let me double click on Mac OS 9. Ah, there's stuff there. Okay, so that's a start. So now we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut down the computer. <sighs> Why is there no shutdown thingy? Because I'm still off the CD. So I'm gonna, uh, I don't want to do this. I'm uh, gonna have to hold down on the power button. Wait until the CRT goes, or that's asleep now. Keep holding on it. Keep holding on it. Keep holding on it. No? Really? Oh, oh, did this get it? No, it still says CD. Oh my gosh. Okay, just hold on it again, I guess. Okay, it's out. So you're gonna press the power button again. And it fired up, as you can obviously tell. I'm gonna click on the button. I probably was too late. I was not. All right. Which means that it's going to try to boot into, into Mac OS 9. Yes. There it is. All right. Um, perfection. There we go. So while that starts up, I'm going to put this in a case. My CD case right here. And make sure not to get rid of this, because if I get a hold of more of these computers, I'm gonna need that disc. Because this should work with any computer. Any uh, I'm actually three computers, so I'm gonna put that there. Come back over here. Wait for all the applications to start. Wow. There it is. Mac OS 9. still firing up though. I think this takes longer to start than Mac OS X. Okay, there it is. That, that's, oh no, not done yet.
Oh, introduction. All right, let's 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 get this going. Gathering system information. Okay, welcome back. Yes, 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 yes. Next. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, US is good. What's your name? My gosh. Okay. My name. Uh, I'm just going to go down. I try to point directly at my keyboard so you can still figure it out. Okay. What time is it? Yeah, it's 1904. That's what time it is. Or that's the date. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Huh? Oh. Okay. Um, so we're going to want to scroll down. So I'm going to... Password is one. <sighs> no, I don't want a shared folder. All right. Oh, internet. Wow. No. Okay. Um, so let's see what's on this right now. Let's see. Wow, that's loud. Okay. Oh, I love that. Okay, so there we go. Sherlock. Nice. So it's just air airport. Does it? Does it have airport? Yeah, no airport card is installed. That's fine. It wouldn't even work with my internet. It's too good. Okay. Um. Oh, calculator. I love this. Oh, one plus one equals two. Nice. All right. Cool. Any games? Probably not. I have some, though. Oh, no. Go away. Browse the internet. I... I'm gonna have to do this in another video. So if you wanna, if you wanna keep watching, then uh, gladly uh, do that. All right. Um, sorry if it's kind of blurry. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this helps you because I struggled doing this. Uh, yeah. So uh, subscribe if you want to. That'll help me out a lot. All right. Actually, I need to figure out how to turn this computer off because I have no idea. Oh, is it here? S spin down hard disk. That's not what I want. How do you How do you turn off the computer? I, I don't understand. Am I dumb? Like where does it, does it does it does it, it doesn't doesn't say turn off. Do I do I press this and it pops up a thingy? Nope. Okay, that's great. Anyways, Basically, I'm done, so I hope you liked the video, and hopefully this helped you. Alright, see you next time.